Hi folks, this is Fred. Welcome back to my shop. I was over to my friends the other day, a young man who was just getting into machinery and he was down in his shop working on his lathe and he had just turned a, a piece of stock between centers and he was ready to pop out his dead center and put in a chuck so that he could bore a, bore a hole in the end of the piece of material he was uh, working on. And the way he was going to remove it, the, the dead center, is with a pair of these. He was going to grab on, he grabbed onto it, turned it, and pulled it out. And I said, you know, Ted, there's an easier way to do that. It's a nice little project. And so we stopped right there. We modified the tool for him. And he was very appreciative. And so I thought if he thought it was helpful, maybe somebody out there would think it's helpful too. So let's head over to the, to the workbench and take a look at how we did it. Okay, we're back. Here's a collection of most of the tailstock tooling I have for my Atlas. It has an MT2, Morris Taper 2 tailstock. Uh, got a drill chuck, a long nose live center, short nose live center, a dead center, and of course the uh, tailstock um, tapping wrench that we built in our last video. If you notice on these, every single one of them, there's, there's been some modifications that have been done to the, M, the Morris Taper 2. Because these shafts can vary in length, uh, and if you want to use the auto extracting method of the tail stock, you need sometimes to extend the length of the Morris Taper 2 so that when it retracts all the way back into the tailstock and you give it that last turn the screw will bump bump it out so I've got this one that hasn't been modified yet so I thought we'd modify it basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the, the chuck, chuck it up get it running true then we're gonna center drill it we're gonna put it we're gonna bore and tap it for uh, quarter 20 and then we're going to put a nut and bolt on like this and then we can use this nut and bolt for extending the length of the taper and getting it at the right distance so that when the tailstock is almost all the way retracted you give it that last little bit it'll pop the the, the uh, tailstock out tailstock device out so let's go back to the Back to the lathe and see what we can do. Okay, we've got the uh, dead center chucked up in the three jaw. Have some aluminum or some copper shims on the jaws. Now we're centering up the part. That looks as though it's running nice and true now. Bring up the tail stock with the uh, bit in it. We'll try. There we go. We got to start now. This is a relatively high quality dead center. More oil. Okay, I think we're through the case hardening now. Looks like this was just had a, a very thin surface of case hardened surface on it. Okay, we'll get our our tap or our drill bit for 
tap size for quarter 20. Chuck it up. Put some cutting fluid on it, give it a fighting chance. And we'll run it in a, hopefully about an inch. See how it goes. Oh yeah. You can see how much easier it's cutting now. We're through that case hardening, we're into the softer material on the inside of the We'll run it up about an inch. Six hundred thousandths. Seven hundred. 750, 800, 900, 900. Okay, there's a hundred thousands. Okay. take out the the drill chuck and we'll install the quarter inch tap into our tailstock tap holder. Back off the cross slide, run it up, lock off the tailstock, a little bit of cutting oil, and we'll run this up. Backing it off every now and then to clear the chips. Let's lock it into back gears so the chuck doesn't. Well, this is going to be a slow tap. I'll bring you back after the tapping is done. Okay, well, got a little issue here. The case hardening around the end. It's a little bit too much for that uh, that drill bit or that uh, tap to go into. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in, make a counter bore, maybe uh, three sixteenths of an inch deep, to try to cut through that uh, case hardening, and then we'll retry the tap. Okay, we got about a 3 16 inch counter bore. Hopefully we're through the, the case hardening. We'll give this another another go with the uh, tailstock tap holder and quarter 20 tap. Lock it in back gears. Okay, much easier, much easier. Still a tough little go, but we'll get it. I'll bring you back when we're all the way in. 
Okay, fellas, we're back in, uh, whoops, sorry. We're back at uh, tailstock. I must admit, this this dead center is a quality dead center. I had a heck of a time getting the uh, threads in here. And I only successfully got about uh, four threads, four full revolutions, but that's really all you need. I went through my, my uh, collection of oddball hardware and I came up with this quarter 20 little short button type screw. What we're going to do is we're going to screw it in to the threads we made, tighten it up, and you can see that we really only ended up extending this maybe three-eighths to a quarter of an inch. But what that's going to allow us to do now is to put the dead center in, back it off, when you retract the retract the tailstock handle you're gonna come up and you're gonna hit a stop where the screw is almost all the way in but the but the back of the dead center is hitting the end of the the uh, rod and all you need to do is just another little eighth of a twist and you can break it loose now uh, these the length of these vary uh, you may need a longer you may need to put in a, a quarter 20 bolt with a nut on it to adjust it to get it a little longer but you get the idea right so you drive it home it's in there good and secure and when you back it up and want to eject it take it till it stops another little turn to bust it loose and it comes out no more pliers well that's it for today uh, it's a quick one uh, we did run into a little issue with the hardness of this. It was really hard. But uh, now we have a functional uh, dead center. And Ted, I'm bringing this to you. Take care, guys. Have a good day.